you know, the inflation numbers are coming out. They're not as bad as they thought they would be. So what does that mean? Well, the Fed's expected to raise interest rates two more times. Will they now? That inflation's going down. But is inflation really going down? Let's see. Labor Department measures in June. Rents are up 8.3%. Oh, wait a minute. But consumer prices were down 0.2%. So the rents are keep going up. Equivalent rent was up, uh, uh, rents were up 8.3% from a year earlier. Oh, used car prices came down. They slipped 0.5% in June. Oh, in April, they were up 4%. So what's this f that inflation is going down? Oh, housing prices went up by over 40% and they keep going up over the past, from when they started the COVID war. Yeah, things are going down in price a bit on some areas. But inflation is still way high. Total f that inflation is going down. Yeah, it's going down in some areas, but it's still high across the board. Loan delinquencies jumped. Oh, I wonder why. Well, everybody's doing so great. How could loan delinquencies go up? Uh, that's uh, higher than expected, according to TransUnion. And what else? Mortgage rates jumped. Hey, wait a minute, inflation's going down. Mortgage rates are going up. It means it's going to cost more to buy a house. They're over 7% now. But if the Fed starts lowering rates, then mortgage rates will go down. And as the Fed lowers rates, gold prices are going up. You saw they spike back up. Gold's now at 1965 an ounce. We gave you the bottom number. We said the bottom was 1850. We got like to 19 something. But as they lower interest rates, the dollar gets weaker, gold prices go up. And the markets were flat today, basically. But oil prices, remember Brent crude was down near almost $70 a barrel. Now it's over $81 a barrel. Oh, inflation? You're going to be paying more at the pump. Don't worry about it. Bidenomics, everything is okay. What else do we have here? Oh, deal activity declines as pricing turns more uncertain. You know what that is? <laughs> yep, deals are going down, but the bigs are still getting bigger. So, yeah, the deal numbers are going down, but the companies are going out of business and the bigs are buying up more and, and, and the whole deal is becoming monopolies. So during the first six months of this year, companies globally announced deals worth $1.3 trillion, but it's down 37% from a year ago. A year ago was the highest rate ever. Excuse me, in 2021. 2021 was the highest rate ever. See, they're coming down from 2022 but they're still up. And uh, Bain estimates the value of deal making globally is on track to reach 2.7 trillion, a 40% decline. Yep, it's a slowdown because the bigs got richer when interest rates are at zero. End of story, because they're still getting big. KPMG to invest 2 billion in tie up with Microsoft. Harvest takes 51% stake in creative agency. Francisco Partners to buy data service group Macrobound for over 700 million euros. Court clears Microsoft deal. $75 billion purchase of game maker Activision. No monopolies here. The bigs f***ing own everything. You know, I, I go to Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, because all the local hardware stores, I go to one down here, Herzog's, but I go for other stuff they don't have there. And my heart breaks when I see the people working there. What the f*** are you going to school for? He's paying, what, about $180,000 to send somebody to school from, from kindergarten to, to, to 12th grade? You get a f***ing job at Target, Lowe's, Walmart. What the f*** is going on? And, I, and, and all you little f say, watch your language. Go f Go suck somebody's whatever. You're in a fight for your f life. What a ballish bunch of pricks out there. Anyway... Oh, deals are going down. TPG to buy a unit of Force Point. Oh, only for $2.5 billion. Oh, and you f With all your f trillion dollars of deals, not a f penny for peace. You know why? Because you're f greedy pieces of sh That's why. And now on to the lovely time of war. Don't you wish you were living in Ukraine? Oh, it's happy days as NATO and the United States keep ramping up the war that should have been over a long time ago. 
Biden braces NATO for slog against Russia from the toilet paper record. In a speech seemed to be preparing Americans and NATO countries for a confrontation that could go on for years. Isn't that great? As the country's going, people are going broke and, 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 and we're ramping up into a nuclear war. Don't worry about it. Be a stupid Swallow the political Putin still wrongly believes that he can outlast Ukraine, Mr. Biden said. Oh, if Biden said it, then it must be true. After all this time, Putin still doubts our staying power. He is making a bad bet. Staying power? There he is. There's the guy leading our country. Yep. Staying power? You're only in Afghanistan for 20 years and lost guys. Hey, how about Vietnam War? That was a nice long one, too. Yeah, we'll do it forever. I forgot the Iraq Wars. Not once in their public comments did NATO leaders discuss talks with Russia for a ceasefire or career-style armistice, a silent recognition that Ukraine insists on retaking far more of its territory before negotiating, and that Mr. Putin has signaled no willingness to pull back. That's the from the New York Times toilet paper. Not a peep about peace. And all you f rich people that don't give a f penny for peace, you should f rot in hell. Because guess what? All you richies, you don't take a f penny with you. We will never give away our territories and we will never exchange them to any frozen conflict, Zelensky told reporters. Zelensky told the little f Pieces of and never interview people that are for peace. And the territory, maybe a two Zelensky to have read the Trends Journal and back in 2014 and why the war began. I know back then you were busy playing the piano with your prick. How can I be? Hungarian Prime Minister makes Ukraine peace proposal. Instead of bringing weapons to Ukraine, we should bring peace. A ceasefire is necessary, and instead of war, peace negotiations should start as soon as possible. We're not going to repeat a word of this in the, in the American or Western media. Over a billion dollars the United States has thrown in. You ready? This is, this is propaganda, and these people are nothing more than Low life sell nothing more than war. We give you the truth and trends. If you're afraid of free speech, if you're too to think for yourself, you'll hate the truth and trends.